to get us through. Because as time goes by, we're all going to have to go through a lot of things that we have to go through. But we're blessed because we don't have to go through it alone. God sent a Savior. And that Savior will make himself real in your life and let you know how much he loves you by what he does for you. And you know what? It just don't stop. Praise God. Let's give him some glory. Let's clap our hands. Thank God for being in your life. And what he's doing for you. Bringing you over, under, around, and through all the things that this flesh and them spirits and them powers have tried to stop us from giving him the glory and praise. Praise God. Brother Arthur, would you open us up with a word of prayer, please? Dear God and loving Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for keeping us another week, Lord. We thank you for your mercy and your grace in our lives. Lord, we thank you for loving us, Jesus. Thank you for coming in, showing us your ways, Lord. Showing yourself that you, you're God, Lord. We thank you. Most, the, most of the world doesn't know that you're God. But you chose us to know that you are God and that you are the God of everything, heaven and earth, and all of us. And Lord, we praise you for, for your mercy in our lives. Thank you for keeping us, healing us, Lord. Thank you for, for everything that you're doing. And thank you, Lord, for everything that you're going to do. We bless, bless, this, bless you for the service today. Thank you for the word that's getting ready to come forth. Bless the word, Lord. Lord, anything that's not like you, put it down. Bind it up, Lord, that it has no effect, Lord. But that only your spirit, your, your power will, will come forth. Lord, anoint the service, anoint the speaker to speak the words, anoint the hearers to hear the words, and anoint the singer to sing the songs. And we're just going to bless you and thank you for all that you're going to do in this day. We praise and thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, let everyone say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. We're going to open up for any songs, any testimonies, any praises. Please feel free.
det er ikke, at det pæk vil se, at det pæk tager med to dens ordene. Eller, I vil, I vil se, se, se en dag, i det stukke, stukke eller stæs. Eller, en Jesus, told me the pact with yours, uh, but I, I humble, humble myself, and I forget the, the, the brother, but I made one mistake, did Jesus work, like I told the brother, you are your people, you should follow. You shouldn't have picked up something what was not to us yeah. And Jesus called me back and he told me, like uh, don't don't say don't say that. Treat the brother like you want to be treated and humble humble yourself. Uh, and I and I kept on treating the brother right. When this package came, I rang his bell to let him know that he had a package. Cause Jesus told me, mm-hmm. if you mm-hmm. do, if you do to him what he did to you and then you do that to me and uh and what he is what what Jesus is right you just hum humble yourself and uh and forget the brother forget the brother it's a big Killed, swab, but forgiving. I wanted to count, but the devil got it. But I don't want it back from the, from the devil, from the evil spirits. It's growing the ground. Why I was saying this, brothers and sisters, because like if it happened to you, forgive the brother. Don't do what the devil did. Just humble yourself and forgive him. You have to forgive every everybody. That's right. Because if you don't, you wind up doing it to Jesus. You don't to his son. You don't to Jesus Christ. It's just like our opposite. If you are just be Expect no that you just respect in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Pray and pray. Everything will work out. Fine. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you don't forgive your brother, you will be forgiven. So, amen. God sent his son. They called him Jesus.
He said, hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of all the ends of the earth, faileth not, neither is he weary. There is no searching of his understanding. But this is the part that I like. He said he gave a power to the faint. And to him that had no might, he increased strength. You need strength to go through the day. Because guess what? It's people around you you really don't understand. But guess what he does? And that's what I appreciate the Lord for. I've had some things, I'm telling you, besides the things that hit me years ago, but that's what I stand on today, Kathy. If he's faithful then, God, you know what, God, you, you know what, can I say this? You know God is the only one that will go back on his word. His, his word stand. You know, many times I say, well, young brother, such and such, I'm always you, young brother. That's my baby right there. But you know how young brother, such and such a thing. You know, we make promises. And in our human ability, sometimes we think we can keep it, but we fall short. Right. But you know what I love about the Lord? He falls short in nothing. Right. When he said all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. I got my Dewan with me now. He's able to do some things that nobody ever thought he would be capable of doing. But you know, isn't God's timing wonderful? He will send at least one of them. Dewan was at least one of them. He was the one you couldn't find. But you know what I know? Jesus knew exactly where he was at. And knew the time and whether he would be needed. He has to drive to the hospital, wait in the parking lot, put his feet up. Who would have ever thought that he would be in a position to do that? God had people that you think don't count them out. Don't ever count them out. Because guess what I know? So many people count them out, including his mother. See, you got to be honest. Many times. But you know what, though? When he came, the Lord allowed me to treat him with respect as though he was out even when he was in. That's what I love about the Lord. He'll give you an out as he's given me one right now. Even though I'm in, I'm in some things. But you know what? I thought about that. My pastor told me. He said, Sandra, you're going to be all right. I remember 7243 Greenway Avenue. On my knees in my son's front bedroom. My husband messed up on drugs the way he was. I would be down there crying. Didn't have no way to turn. I would hear a voice say, Sandra, get up. The kids got to go to school. Got to go downstairs and fix some breakfast. I'm going to make it all right. God is the only one. That you can count on. Right. Stephanie, he said, Oh, I cling to that word. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And guess what? He's here with all of this. I tell you, sometimes when I feel like I can't make another day, he comes in and he lets me know. Just like he held yesterday, he was already in today. That's what I love about it. While I was 19 high old years ago, he was already in this day, Kathy, to make sure I was going to make it. But everything that's going on today, I can't even begin to tell y'all. But you know what I know? I counted a blessing. You know the reason why? Because he counted me worthy to go through what I had to go through in order that he might Get the glory. See, God gonna get some glory from me. Trust me, he is. Because he's been faithful to me. I've got sickness and disease, even with me myself. Drug addiction, everything you name it. But guess what? He's cleaning it up. A little bit by little bit. And you know, when I say cleaning it up, I don't mean to your satisfaction. To his satisfaction. 
He's letting us know. I can strengthen you, young brother, whatever that you want. Because nobody don't understand like he understands. I'm telling you, I know I can't make it. I've always been a weak girl and a crying girl. But you know what I know? He knows I trust him. Then Paul said he knows if you trust him. I trust you, God, because guess what? Everything you always took care of me and my kids and my family. Always. I don't care what it is. And time and time again, year in and year out. And you know what? Like I said, you know what? You know what I thought about when you was talking about? Let me tell you something. The old saints will come in. They would lose husbands, wives, and everybody else. But guess what? They could give them a praise. Didn't they? Oh, yes. Didn't they do it? Oh, yes. I'm going to tell you something. The saints did wild and woe is me. When you know Jesus, you don't say woe is me with anything that happened in your life. Because guess what? He going to get some glory out of that. I'm telling you, he going to get some glory. Stephanie, Paul, Stephanie, Renee, Arthur, Tyler, Arthur, he's going to get the glory. Yes. No flesh ain't going to throw him in this sight. If he raise up, he can raise up. And guess what? If he don't see fit to raise up, he's still going to be God in my life. I wanted Richard to live. God said, no, he won't. I'm going to take him home. Because guess what? He had suffered enough in his life. I'm not going to let him suffer no more. My pastor told me, I don't, he said, God got a mercy over there that you'll never get here. And I believe it. People today don't understand what you being a saint. Because I'm going to tell you something, you still got an accuser of the brethren. He come and say, you done did all that and look what's happening. But I can still bless the Lord. I don't care what happens today. And I tell my children that I don't. I don't care what he do to me, what he do to them. He's still God. I think that 40th chapter of Isaiah says it well. With all that went on, guess what? I think that he, he was saying back in here, I don't, I don't I what's it. I got to find it. He still was God. Amen. With everything that goes on, he still won't be God. Amen. He's going to get the praise out of everything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, when he talked about it, he said, now where was you at? That, that, almost like Job. Job, where was you at with all of that? With, with, what's the name? This is what he said. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's the one there. Oh, I, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm just feeling this morning. I just feel the baby to get up to give him some praise right now with everything that's going on. I'm still, I'm still happy right now to give him. Some, I, honestly, I can't even read that, can't even find it. But you know what, young brother, I'm still thankful to the Lord. Yes. Stephanie said that to She said, "To see you and me sitting on the same row." Fifty something years later. And guess what? Neither one of us was supposed to make it. She had things in her house. I watched her go through. I had things in my house that she watched me go through. And guess what? We're still sitting on the same road with the pastor. Fifty some years later, at Seventieth Street, came in and he only saw me and Young Brother. Trust me. And everything he prophesied came to pass. Everything. Everything he said came to pass. And you think that I'm a, you think I'm a knuckle down now? Could you know what he told me? He said, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Didn't he say it? Didn't he say it? Guess what? And guess what? I can't even name the trouble. But you know what the Lord said? But I'm going to glorify him in it. And I still glorify the Lord in everything. I want to tell you something. In my house. They try to take your praise. You know, see some of y'all don't, 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 don't think like that. You know, sometimes in your house, they want you to shut up, but I ain't going to do it. I close my door out of them because I'm a holler and I'm a scream. Because you know what I said? I said, heaven ain't quiet. Heaven is not quiet. Let me tell you something. The one that got there, you think passing them is quiet? You think they're quiet up there? No, they're not. They waiting on us. They waiting on me. I know that. And you know what? They're the only ones that will wait on Sister Sandra. Trust me. Don't nobody wait on Sister Sandra. But I tell you something. He's gracious. He's good. He's mighty. 
And I tell you something, Adam, sometimes I, I, I try to sit here real nice. I, I just, you know what I be saying, young brother, you know, you know, you know better than anybody. I try to sit quiet, Adam. I cannot do it to save my life. Because guess what? When I look around, I'm living with this. And I think things happen. All of my good days, I'll be my bad days. I won't complain. Sometimes that clouds may low. I'd love to see him go. I ask the question, Lord, sometimes, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Get out of here. See, I didn't talk that much, but I couldn't hear that. I won't complain, Stephanie. I don't care what happens. You know what? The funny thing about me, young brother, tell you this. Even when we was in what we was in, we never complained. <laughs> young brother always laughed her way through. I mean, I cussed my way through. She'll tell you. I, I cussed my way through. But we didn't complain, did we? We got the 5,000 washes machines. Oh, let me tell you something. We got a story, me and my girlfriend. That's why I'm glad you're still here. Because we got a story, baby. Guess what? I don't care what happened. Nobody can take it from us, baby. The babies, the tears, the heartaches. We shared it, didn't we? Still do. I could finish Young Red a sentence because Young Red always was a little slow talking. And then she always was gracious. I said, such and such a thing. But guess what? Ain't we still here? Amen. Ain't God faithful to his promise? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't he help us come up? He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. I'm done now. Yeah. Praise God, I won't complain. I won't complain. Yes. Glory be to God. I've had some good days. Yes. I've had many hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And lonely nights. But when I look around, and I think things over all of my good days. They weigh out my bad days. So I won't complain. Sometimes my brow hangs low. I can hardly see the road. But then I asked the Lord, why, why, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. Although my weary, weary eyes, my eyes can't see. So I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. God, 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 been good to me. He's been so good to me. All of this world could never be. He's been. He's, I'm sorry, the mic went out. He's been, he's been so good. He dried all my tears away. He turned my midnight into day. So I'll just.
say thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, I, I won't complain. God, 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 God been good to me. He's been so, he's been so good to me. Oh, that this world can never be. He's been so good to me. He tried all of my tears away. Oh, he turned my darkness into day. So I'll just church say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I won't, I won't complain. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Good to have somebody that we can lean upon, isn't it? Good to have somebody we can trust in, isn't it? Good to have somebody that we can cast all our kids on. You know, I'm just glad you got something to say to you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what problem you might have, no matter what you be facing, and we all know what the ultimate face and thing that every human has, that is death. If Jesus is in your life, you are going to conquer it because he said so. And if you can believe his word, Sandra was talking some very important stuff. And I just thank God for that because it's right on message. The title of this message today is Take Heed to His Word. You got to listen to Jesus. You listen, that's why we stay in this Bible. See, that was taught to me by my pastor. He stayed in the Word. And when you got out of the Word, he corrected you and got you back into the Word. So that you know that you got somebody that can help you through all of the sadness and all of the sorrow, all of the accuser of the brother, all the lies, all the sins, all the sins, all the things that we were born into, God sent somebody that had shed his blood that we might be able to spend eternity with him. It ain't all about what's down here because guess what? What down here going to end real soon for all of us. All of us. He was talking about that as, the, as a grass. That's just what our lives is like. Just like grass. You know, I was I was driving this morning. Got up this morning and you know, my desire, my heart's desire is just to serve the Lord. Whatever capacity he wills, whatever he wants is all that. And I know that, you know, uh, it would have been impossible for me to drive. See, they wanted me to be there at four o'clock and check in. And it was mandatory in this thing that, that I'm involved in. And I wouldn't have been able to get back here in time, so Friday was out. But you know, Sunday, it was just a blessing to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, up in the mountains. And then I drive through the mountains, and nobody on the road, just clear. And you see all the mist and the smoke and the smell of the trees and the fresh air. And, you know, I just, just said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, just just to see his creation, how he made it. Not not the stuff we had, we got out here where the concrete and the buildings and all this stuff is out there, but how he made his creation. That would be such a blessing. Though. Just to take a deep breath and feel and smell the pine, the pine trees and the blessings and everything. I just said, Lord, thank you. Amen. Just for being such a great creator, doing things that nobody else can. You know what? And he's coming to our lives.
So that when we face these trials and these tribulations and these problems and these sorrows and these sadness, because you know what? He told us, you know, I love Jesus. He, 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 he was straightforward. He told you in the world, you don't have tribulations. Everybody's got it. Nobody's exempt. You think somebody that don't have no money problems or don't have no this problems or that problems, everybody got problems. They just got different problems than some people have. And ain't none no worse than none of the others because it's only one Savior, one Savior that can get everybody through every problem they face. And his name is Jesus. So I won't complain. I'll just praise him and thank him for everything. He's worthy of praise. You can't thank him enough for coming into our lives and blessing us. I, I might have got that title a little twisted here. It's, it's Take Heed to what you hear. You know, there's a lot of voices out there. There's a lot of things in your ear. But if you put God's word in your ear, you will be blessed because he'll tell you things that nobody else can tell you. Just like Simon was saying, he can do things in your life nobody else can do. He can bring you through whatever you got to go through. He's got the power to do that. Let's go to Mark, fourth chapter. Let's just pray first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you thanking you and praising you for all your goodness, mercy, and your blood, Lord. We ask we thank you for the testimonies and the songs and the praises that went forth this morning, Lord. And we thank you for touching each and every heart and binding up the broken heart of Lord, and casting away the sorrows and the sadness, and just reminding us, Lord, that we won't complain, but we'll give you praise and glory for everything that you've done for us. Father God, I ask that you might bind up anything that might be in me that might, be, might not be pleasing to you, Lord. And that this word that is about to come forth might help your people, feed your people, heal your people, deliver your people, and remind your people that you are the Lord God Almighty, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask to thank God. And that you can take away every pain and every sorrow and every sadness, Lord, that whatever can come on in this life. And we pray this prayer believing and trusting and thanking God for Jesus. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. 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 Let's go to Mark. Amen. Fourth chapter, 24th verse. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear, shall more be given. You know, I thank God for those testimonies that we're giving forth today because they're always showing that Jesus, the more we listen to him, the more we trust in his word, the more he will give us to help us through all of our different situations, all of our sorrows and our sadness, and all the things that we were born into through the flesh, through those wicked spirits and all those powers, he's got the answer and he is the power 